On today's episode, we got a Chiba Hut. Chiba Hut. They opened not too long ago, Chiba Hut on Canis and Shackelford. Darcy Fletcher is the owner, along with her husband, Hunter. And let me tell you, it's my favorite place for sandwiches. You want a great sub? Go to Chiba Hut. Let's check in with Darcy, see what she has to show and tell today. We got Darcy Fletcher. She's the owner of Chiba Hut on Canis and Shackelford. You need to go out there. My favorite sandwich shop. The, it, it's delicious. I love it. So I'm glad you're you're doing it. <laughs> well, thank you. We appreciate it. We've actually had a really good couple of days. I think the word's starting to really get out there. We have some really awesome people that are coming in. We have a guy that comes in pretty much five days a week. A week. He's awesome. So uh, we're gaining regulars. You're, of course, one of them. Um, so we really like it. We're excited to be here. Awesome. Awesome. My daughter went in Monday with a yes. friend to introduce him to the shop. And he fell in love with it, too. So uh, they're doing good, good there. <laughs> Thank you. We so Darcy, it. a little little about Darcy. You uh, you did a competition uh, for Compound Bow. I do. Well, what's yeah. that all about? I still do that with my kid. Uh, we shoot at a place uh, called Ingram's Archery out in, uh, is it Clinton, I think it is? Or somewhere out near the baskets. And we shoot competition compound, uh, Compound Bow. So we go out and we just shoot at a bunch of targets basically and keep score. It's kind of like golf, but with weapons, you know? So. That's awesome. And you and I have had some great conversations about uh, conspiracy theories. Oh my so god. So you're you're in you're a conspiracy theory nut like I am, right? Yes. Right now I'm down the JFK conspiracy theory hole. So that's gonna take a minute to dig myself out. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> you know, I, I appreciate you doing this show with me. It's it's show and tell with Matt Cruz. So I know you have something really cool to show us. I do. And uh, I can't wait to see what it is. What are you gonna show us? Well, we're going to show you the shop, but specifically we're going to show you our two murals. Uh, they kind of okay. coincide with each other. They link up together. Um, we're starting to get our regulars in here that notice that the two murals go together, which is pretty cool to see that kind of dawn on them. Um, I didn't so even we're... notice that, so I, I can't <laughs> wait to see it. Yes, it's a really cool concept my husband and I came up with, and we're very excited about it. So we're going to start out here, and I'll show you this part of the shop right now. So right now where I'm sitting, this is part of our patio and we have a big door that goes nice. up and we have outdoor seating and our, as you can see our patio is massive so that's beautiful yep. all so right let's really see those here all right here we go so we're gonna start over here first i'm gonna turn the camera around so you can see it maybe hold on i gotta figure out how to do it <laughs> i'm old i don't know how to do things okay it's okay I really don't know how to do it. Hold on. No, I, I see where to do it. On the little picture of you, uh -huh. press the little picture of you and it's right there. That is a problem, but I didn't know that. That is a problem. Okay. Turn around now. Turn around now. All right. There we go. So it starts on this side of the wall. And as you can see- That's right at the entrance, right? Yep, this is right in the entrance. And as you can see, we've got Al Capone up here because as you know, he was in love with Arkansas and did a lot of bootlegging back in his day. So of course we come over here and we see what they're bootlegging. And these two things here are actual references. So jazz cabbage is what they actually called marijuana back in the day when like reefer madness was going on. And spice is actually a right. reference Spice is actually a reference to Star Wars, because that's the illegal drug that they trade in Star Wars. I'm sure you know that. Everything then, goes back to Star Wars. All, all the time. <laughs> Everything, it's a conspiracy, I swear to God. It all comes back to Star Wars. But if you come up here, then you've got Rick and Morty. And so basically, you've got the Little Rock skyline, and they've come off the Arkansas River, and they're shooting this portal. Only pop of color in this whole painting. So this is like 1920s bootlegging. You know, there's they're sending a crate through right here. You can see. So I'm gonna turn you back around. And we're gonna walk over to the second mural. All right. And these all like yeah, now that was at the entrance of the uh, of the restaurant, yep. and then you've got another one towards the back by the drinks. Yep. So that's our. So that's where you're right walking right now. Yep, and that's where our first one goes, and then we come back here. And you actually had someone do the mural, right? 
Say that again? You had someone fly in to do the mural? We did. We had a guy fly in from uh, Denver, and his name is Josh Finley. Um, if you want to look him up, he is incredible. Um, he does some really rad things. He does a lot of murals for Chiba Hut because uh, he kind of gets our style. And he's awesome. Right. He's a rad, rad dude. So definitely shout out to him because he's incredible. So, you ready for the second one? All right. So then, here's the second mural. And as you know, it's all in color. We're going to start from the beginning over here. Yeah. So, you've got Link. I, and he's I like, never noticed that. Yes! <laughs> Now you know what to look for when you come in. So that crate that he was giving into the portal is now Link is receiving it. And Longbottom Leaf, as you know, is a awesome. reference to Lord of the Rings. That's a leaf that they smoke. We won't go into the details, but it's a leaf that they smoke in uh, the Lord of the Rings universe. And so, of course, we had to incorporate, we have a little crossover here. We've got Link. As you know, he normally carries a fairy around with him. So we turned that fairy into... Tinkerbell. <laughs> then we've got a famous Pokemon up there giving off some, uh, we'll call it gas. That's him. And so now you come down, you've got, of course, a Stormtrooper, of course, and all ties back to Star Wars, as you've noticed. This part of the mural right here is pretty famous to us. We're really excited about this part because if you've watched Family Guy, <laughs> Bill Clinton's actually in Family Guy. Smoking with uh, Peter, and they're talking about eating a pig. So that has to be here because, of course, Clintons are famous here in Arkansas, as you all know. Another crossover, right. you've got the pig from, um, was it Simpsons? Crossover with Harry Potter, because I'm a freak for Harry Potter. We've got, I don't know if you've watched the show Disenchanted or Unenchanted. I can't think of the name of it right now, but that's Lucy, and he's carrying different Dis things. Disenchanted. That's what it is. He's a little waiter here. So you can see he's carrying different things like Patriot L, mushrooms, a goblet from Lord of the Rings, or not Lord of the Rings, but uh, is it Game of Thrones? And then another little demon in a bottle. And of course, you've got to have the entertainment, Jessica Rabbit. The cool thing the, about this mural. The mushroom is from uh, uh, Super Mario, Mario, right? Super Mario, exactly. Super Mario. So we wanted to yeah. incorporate a couple different things. So then you've got Doctor Strange up here, and as you can see, he's got different portals that he's pouring these uh, beers out of, which is what he does. And if you see, I don't know if you can see it, but in the center of his hands, he's got a hut there. And in this part of the mural, cool. he also has little huts in the mural, and like in the um, portal itself. So we just wanted this to look like a whole different universe where a bunch of couple, like a bunch of characters would come together, sit and drink and enjoy. I love the fact, yeah. you know, that there's so many hidden things in those murals. And yes. For um, local secrets, it's localized. Yes, it is. And I won't give away all the secrets because you got to come in and check it out. But there's so Definitely. many hidden things in this mural, like in both murals. There's so many little hidden treasures in it. And we wanted it to be that way so people would come and look at the statement piece, you know? So we're really well, excited about I, it. I totally appreciate you showing that off today, Darcy. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so we much. Are, we're proud of it. So thank you for allowing us to show it to you. We're really excited about it. Every episode, I try to show something from from uh, my collections too that kind of goes along with. It. So I don't okay. have a hand mural like you do. I don't have that. But I'm standing in Trinity's bedroom right now. Okay. Because a few years ago, as a gift for Trinity, we actually got this printed. A friend of mine did it. And the whole bedroom is a New York skyline. That is so sick. Trinity has always wanted to go to New York, and we've never been able to do it. So, so we yeah. had the uh, New York, and so she gets to sleep in her bedroom like as though she's in New York every night. So that is incredible. I love that. Let me see if I can convince my husband to let us do that uh, that in our bedroom. He'll probably say no, but I'm so trying to convince him. <laughs> Thank you again, Darcy. You have a great day today. You too. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. 
Thank you, Darcy Fletcher at Chiba Hut on Canis and Shackleford showing off such awesome artwork. I love that mural, and now I know even more about it. So thank you for showing that off. Hey, if you've got an awesome collection, a unique item with a great story, if you have a talent that you want to show, we want you on this show, Show and Tell with Matt Cruz. Email me, Matt, at edgelitterocket.com. And uh, I would love to have you on. Thank you so much. New episode drops next Wednesday. I did that.